All right, Derek. So, uh, I'm going to do something very surprising today. Go on. Wow, you were really quiet there. Uh, I'm going to let Go you... Go on. Use your... Oh, my God. I already got dibs on her. Wow. Jesus Christ. Whew. Uh, <laughs> you sent me a list over Facebook on Ranker mm -hmm. called, like, the top 20 oh, most ridiculously it. named animes or something. Uh... I read just the first three, stopped, and said, "Okay, this is an episode of Spelton. <laughs> this is that episode, Derek. Um, I have watched one of them, I believe. Okay. Well, I, I don't... Why, don't spoil and, it. And uh, there's another one I really want to watch. Don't spoil it. I, uh, let and us, there are more let that us I learned of that I really want to watch. After you I'm not saying what they are. Or do you want me to read? I guess I'll read them. Since it's just playing cutscenes, anyhow. You might have to take over for me. Um. If I had it open. Oh, shut up, phone. No one. What are you, what are you even telling me? Oh, my battery's close to dead. That's a first! Uh, come on, phone. The 20 most ridiculous anime titles in history. Okay, the first one. It's sad because these are going to get worse as they go based on how Ranker does it. People upvote the best ones and stuff. And that's the first one you see. Uh, the first one. I want you to make a disgusted face and show me your underwear. Photo of a maid girl. It's an yep. OVA. Exactly what you expect it to be. Um, two. Do you love your mom and her two-hit multi-target attacks? <laughs> I don't wait. I don't know. See, the problem is I don't. I don't know if I should comment on these at all because I don't want. I know you wanted to, to guess which ones I've seen or no, whatnot, but like, on I want to no, comment on some of them. Comment on them. Okay. Uh, okay. So the first one, uh, I've seen images of other characters drawn in the style of how they are on that show. Okay. Uh, of that, I've seen characters. Uh, or just like, um, that, that's a that's a thing people do. They'll draw characters with like a face looking at like a disgusted face looking at you, just saying disgusting. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great. Classic weed meme. Um, I want. I honestly uh, want to see the. Do you love your mom and her two hit multi target attacks? I, I want to too. The, well, the description I, of it is based. Uh, do, you, do you want to read it? You have no, right no. There. Go ahead. I was gonna say the description of it's basically. Uh, it's like an isekai where like uh, you, they're in a video game world or whatever, and a guy's there with his mom, and uh, his mom's better at it than he is. Yeah, that's funny. All right, now this one I only read the title, and then this is where I stopped. And said, "Okay, this is a Spellitons episode." If I don't successfully pick up 420 girls, I am going to die in a lot of different ways. <laughs> Despite having what is simultaneously the best and worst title in anime history, this anime is actually just a two-minute promotional video for a light novel. Oh my god, I just want to know the context, though. Does he... <laughs> <laughs> what ways is he gonna die? Okay. Okay. Uh, story in which I was kidnapped by a young lady's school to be a sample of the common people. <laughs> One girl is naked, except she's in panties and a coat that's unbuttoned. Everyone is Did you read the description? <laughs> I, I... <laughs> that is... Considering how, there's four people on this. The, everyone else is clothes except that girl. Uh, considering how weird this show's premise is, a grammatically correct title is the last thing on anyone's mind. It's all about a teenage boy who was kidnapped by an all-girls school to help the sheltered students prepare to enter regular society. In order to avoid being literally castrated by the school administration, he has to pretend to be gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, number five. My mental choices are completely interfering with my school romantic comedy. 
absolute choice wherein a petty god forces him to choose from a, oh sorry Kanad, whatever's life is made absolutely difficult by a system called absolute choice wherein a uh when a petty god forces him to choose from a selection of equally terrible options often embarrassing himself hideously in public the title explains the series theme pretty well but it's not exactly con kaisa <laughs> Oh, yeah, that one sounds interesting. World End. What do you do at the end of the world? Are you busy? Will you save us? <laughs> Willem is a former soldier who is now charged with taking care of a group of living weapons who risk their lives fighting monsters called beasts. While the show is actually kind of touching, the questions that make up the title make it seem like it's going to be totally mundane. Yo, Yuri. For whatever reason, never-ending, heart-throbbing, pitter-patter, paradox eternal. For whatever reason, the single episode special in which China 2's drawings come to life as a title that's truly never-ending. Why? Because it's a heart-throbbing, pitter-patter, paradox eternal. They said it in the title. 8. But attack, Punisher girl, got a man. The photo is a guy admiring a butt print on a billboard in the middle of a hallway. <laughs> yeah, it's a I wonderful said, butt print. I that was, Truly a work I of about art. Setting, <laughs> I thought about sending you that photo. Despite being a Christian, Mari Aminachi ends up making a deal with Buddha in order to save her kidnapped friend. Said deal transformed her into a magical girl of sorts called Butt Attack Punisher Girl Gata Man. At least the title is descriptive. <coughs> Nine. I feel like this is the one you had to have seen. Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Just a photo of a Bunny Girl. That's the one girl. I've seen. That's the one I very much want to see, though. It's okay. very good. I, I, I mean, I was close. Uh, she's sitting I, on a I heard desk about it a in a library in a bunny outfit. Yes. It's, I have not paid it's attention to the hot very girl cute. that was on screen this whole time. It's fine, though. Though the title is a lot more awkward to say, this anime is basically a shorter version of Bakamona Gatatari. Well, as a teenage boy named Sakura who suffers from a mysterious condition called puberty syndrome. God, I think I might have had that. And seeks to help out other people dealing I said, with the I, same I, thing. I, I know I sent you images from that show, and I, I may have sent clips, too. I don't know. Ten. Problem children are coming from another world, aren't they? <laughs> In Isake, a group of boy geniuses who are suddenly transported into a strange new land called Little Garden. Oh, please save my progress. At that, I, I... <laughs> we really just had saved. Wow, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I, my, me. Strawberry eggs. It's about a guy who dresses up as a woman in order to land a teaching job. Because the local school flat out refuses to hire men. What does any of that have to do with strawberries or eggs? The world may never know. <coughs> okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. Um, but this is actually an anime I've seen. As a kid. bo 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 I, I did know Bobo 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 Bobo, Bo, Bo, but I haven't actually. I didn't I've watch it. I've seen it. It's pretty funny. Um, that's all I remember. Uh, that's a, uh, the protagonist of it fights with his nose hair. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't even remember what it's about. I just remember a fish from it, and it basically reminded me of Magikarp. But I, I watched it consistently. Uh, 13. Cat Shit 1. What do you call a gritty tale of an Iranian hostage crisis with an anthropomorphic bunnies at the helm? Cat shit one, apparently. Fourteen. My girlfriend is a shah bitch. Alternatively tired, my girlfriend is a faithful virgin bitch. This bizarre Amazon Prime exclusive follows a sexually inexperienced teenage girl who's trying to seem like she's gotten around. The title kind of makes sense if you know what show refers to shoujo or virgin, and bitch is used in Japanese to describe a woman who is very sexually active. Doesn't make it any less degrading or strange, though. And you thought there is never a girl online. 
It's just about a group of students who play online games. Most of them are cute girls. Yeah. To this protagonist surprise. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? I, I, gee, wonder which one Derek saw. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I've mentioned before. I'm excited. I think, I, I, I wonder if season two's out for that, actually. Or the next season. Whatever, the latest season. We I don't know what number we were on. Talked about it I won't watch it, though. I won't watch more of it. It's yes. literally what you expect it. Uh, all purpose culture cultural. Oh my god. All purpose cultural cult. I can't. Derek. Help. C U L T U R A L. God damn it, Derek. Come on. Cultural. Yes. Cat girl Nuku Nuku Dash. A mysterious girl named Nuku Nuku appears one day with no memory where she came from. Though she seems like a domestic angel, she creates chaos and confusion wherever she goes. Only some of which is caused by the title of her anime. Whew. Listen to me, girls. I am your father. There are two ways the show can go. Oh, sorry. It ends after I am your father. There are two ways the show can go is from me. It tells the story of an 18-year-old whose babysitting gig ends up turning him into a dad after his charge's parents pass away in a plane crash. Also, this description mentions an anime called Kiss Excess, which I... no thanks. 19. The Legend of the Legendary Heroes. A young mage, <laughs> cursed eyes, ancient relics. There you go. 20. Ma this is Derek. Man, girl. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cute and funny story about girls who draw man manga. <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's just it's a, not it's what you think it is. Girl. <laughs> like, yeah. That is. Uh, so if uh, you weren't paying attention at all, Zonko. I wasn't. Uh, we're at we're at the the uh, this is basically the talent the talent agency. Okay. Um, that uh, Toma was a part of that the uh, worker lady just uh, also made us part of. Uh, Kiria also works here, or works for them. Uh, Subasa was losing her shit because she was breathing the same air that Kiria was breathing. Right. She's a fangirl or something, right? She was fangirling real hard, basically. Yeah. Why yeah, do I get to the gym? Is that like really close? Uh, it's outside. It's across the street, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how you get there. I think you're supposed to go to. I think you're supposed to just look around the office. Derek, you're really unhelpful in being a guide for this game. I thought you played like some of it. It's almost I like played you played some of it none once. Of it. I didn't get. I don't All know how right. far I got. Uh, I probably have to poop. So, next time on Spelotons, bye bye